it's unfortunate that that's how my mom, you know, phrased me as a person. I don't see those things and I don't think anybody else sees those things, but if that's how she sees me, then, you know, that's her point of view. And, and I hope that if we met again one day, she would understand that it's not. After being there, I didn't have a relationship with her. Even before that, I don't think we had much of a relationship. And um, that just kept tearing it even more down. Hey friends, it's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Welcome back to my channel. It is Friday, July 21st, 2023. Well, Kate Gosselin has broken her silence and she has released a statement on her Instagram, which should probably just get deleted because the public is absolutely destroying her response. Kate is responding to claims that her son Colin has made against her about why he had been sent away by her years ago and not spoken to from since and also ignoring claims by Hannah and by her husband, ex-husband John, and in her response, tries to use Hannah and John as the reasons why Colin is still a problem to this day. Yep, she came back not to express the sorrow, the pain, or any of that, and say that she loved her son. Instead, she came back to blame her son and call him a whole lot of names in an effort to save herself. On top of that, she confirmed that Maddie's statement was 100% at her direction because she applauded Maddie for speaking out about Colin and thanked Maddie for her bravery in speaking out against her brother. Mind you, this is a mother who birthed this child and has not liked him since he was a baby. Someone that couldn't understand him, targeted him, and really just was an awful mother from the time that he was born. And now she's saying that he's the problem and her entire gaslighting response is another example to me about why you should believe Colin, believe who, his story, believe Hannah, because they've actually had therapy, she has not, she refuses to take any responsibility in this and instead is being a horrible person and the public is letting her know. So let's dive into today's topic. Before we do, could you please do me a big favor and give this video a thumbs up? Also, please subscribe to my channel if you have not yet subscribed by clicking on the subscribe button down below. Make sure to click on the bell so you can get notified of any time I go live or new content loads. If you have something that you would like to say, make sure to leave a comment and make sure to share this video with your friends. So before we dive into her response, I wanna just remind you of Colin's allegations against his mom. These allegations that he claims are that his mom put him into a facility because he did not want to film anymore. He claims that she basically put him in there, abandoned him, and that before he was even placed in there had been punished for not filming. He had been separated from his family. He was not allowed to play with them. He was not allowed to eat with them and Hannah confirmed all of this. And she also, he also alleged that he never should have been placed there. He also said that his mother took his, her aggressions out on him. After John and her divorced, that Kate took out her frustrations out on him. There is documented proof through journals that Kate has written about her son, different ways that she targeted him, how she spoke about him in a book that she wrote about her kids and letters that she wrote to her kids. This woman has never liked Colin, has always gone after Colin, and to this day is still attacking Colin, thus not responding to any of these claims. So in her response, I just want to respond to you and say that she does not redress any of the questions about why she did not visit him for a year and a half why she only saw him three times. She does not address that she didn't show up. Final custody hearing where she was basically didn't go to custody for Colin, instead just, you know, let John have him. She also uh, uses John to get out of this, even though she hates John. And <laughs> she does not address anything related to the show. It's disgusting. So let's dive into what her actual statement says. 
She says this, I have never wanted to have to do this, but I feel I've been backed into a corner and left with no choice. Although it saddens me to do so, I need to speak out now. So she's not doing this because she loves Colin. She's not doing this because she wants to be mending fences with Colin. She doesn't want to do this because she cares about who her son is. She's doing this because she says she has been backed into a corner by who I don't know. She didn't have to respond. She says, my son Colin and whom I love with my with all my heart has received multiple psychiatric diagnoses over the years. For the safety of myself, his brothers and sisters, and for his own well-being, he was placed in a facility following years of outpatient treatment, which proved insufficient for his needs. The decision to admit him was made by emergency room doctors following one of his many attacks and outbursts, this one involving his use of a weapon. Fast forward to present day, and following John's removal of Colin from treatment, my son's unpredictable and violent behaviors have sadly continued regularly towards John, Hannah, and others around him. I want to just pause on this part because he was only removed from residential treatment. There is never, ever, when you're placing someone into a facility, the hope is always to be discharged. It is never to be staying in a facility permanently. And since he has been discharged, he has received treatment. John had him in therapy. They had psychiatrists. They had psychologists. They had multiple forms of therapy. John never would have been able to discharge him and have him discharged from this facility if it wasn't allowed. So now she is going to say that his bad behavior has been regular towards John and Hannah. She doesn't even speak to John, so I don't know how she would know this. C Colin's distorted perception of reality is one of the many issues that he has always struggled with. As many people who have family members grappling with mental health issues can attest, it is rarely and sadly surprising when complete fabrications occur and is just another heartbreaking facet of this fight. Okay, first of all, Kate also has a really distorted sense of reality and Kate has apparently got a diagnosis. According to Robert Hoffman's book, she is diagnosed with bipolar disorder that she refuses to treat and she's also diagnosed with a narcissistic personality disorder that she refuses to treat. It's incredibly interesting that she would say that his distorted perception of reality is the problem when it's her distorted perception of reality. So she's projecting. All parent-child relationships are complex, but when mental illness is involved, it is incredibly complicated and painful, and certainly not easy for others on the outside to understand. All measures that were taken in our home were at the explicit recommendation of his pediatric psychiatrist and or his team of specialists and were put into place to safeguard every member of our family, our friends, as well as our family pets. Unfortunately, I believe Colin remains a very troubled young man who continues to need a lot of help. His brothers and sisters and I have not been directly involved in his life due to his history of unpredictable behavior and violent tendencies towards us. What his sister Maddie posted on social media recently is completely accurate and I deeply appreciate her bravery in doing so. This is all I have to say on the matter and I will not be discussing the subject any further at this time. At this time, she said. That means she's open for it. Okay, even if what she says is true, you guys, even if that is remotely true, mental illness does not preclude a family from not having contact with someone. Mental illness does not preclude anyone from not visiting a child in a facility. In fact, part of treatment for someone that is struggling with mental health, particularly on the pediatric side, involves using the entire family and working with the entire family to help the patient and to help the child. If you go through therapy with your child, you are supposed to be in it with them. You don't stick them in a facility and then expect the experts to fix them and not engage actively in the therapy. I don't believe that he's done any of the things that she claims, and it doesn't explain why she, as his mother, would cut contact with him. No mother of a child, regardless of what he's done in his past, would ever do this if they weren't a narcissist. I don't believe any mother would literally discard a child and come out with something like this. This is not about her defending, or it, this isn't about 
even explaining what happened with Colin. This is about her protecting her image and trying to make herself look good like she's the martyr and she tried to save him. She has no contact with her son because he's violent, yet she's the one that regularly spanked her children. She has an explosive and unpredictable temper. She has not been able to maintain relationships with literally anyone. Most people in her life call her rude, obnoxious, uh, entitled. They say that she's a pathological liar, that she is a hypocrite. She also doesn't explain why her children were exploited on reality television, nor that she took money from Colin's trust fund. So Colin was, you know, he's such a loving, she loves him so much, but when she needed to buy a new house and furnish it, she didn't have the money. And so instead, what did she do? She stole $50,000 from him and from Hannah's trust funds that were from them working to furnish her house so that she could move to North Carolina because she didn't have the money, you guys. And she also said that the kids owed her money for their own schooling. Imagine as a parent, you say that a child owes you money for sending them to private school. What child has to work for their own schooling? Only in Kate's house is that what happens. This whole entire thing is just projection. It also doesn't even answer the questions. Why did you isolate him? What about the filming? No, it's all that he was attacking pets and he was attacking his siblings and he was doing really bad things to people. What were you doing to people, Kate? Were you using a wooden spoon? Were you running around with your spanker? Were you screaming? Were you yelling? Were you isolating the kids? Were you forcing them to work? Were you forcing them to be in an unpredictable environment and making everything about their lives public fodder? So as long as he was exploitable, you would put him on TV. But once he became unexploitable, you had to get rid of him. And I stand by that comment. Okay, so people on her comments are like literally like, um, blowing her up. One person said this, abandonment and just flat no communication is no solution for anyone. This post is so unnecessary and a bad move on your part as a mother. It was unnecessary to, to blast his issues or behaviors like you did. It's never good to post problems on social media, but I hope you feel better showing that defending yourself is better than keeping your child's issues and behaviors private. I know some Kate supporters will say that they weren't private and I get that, but if my mom posted something like this, would like this is would just feel horrible no matter what people already knew or thought they knew just very unmotherly of her then again her image has always been what's most important another person said this i was an avid fan until this no mother should ever give up on their child no matter what you threw him away in a facility so you wouldn't be sued and could continue to exploit your other children I'm not one to cast a stone, however, reading this is as a mother writing this about their own child. I'm choosing to defend the child who at his age then and now needed support. Not a mother throwing him away. I pray for both of you. Sincerely. Someone else said, what a clown you are. The way you mentally abused and controlled all of those kids. You're the problem, not Colin. You should have protected him, not isolated him. Someone else said, mental illness and behaviors does not excuse you from not treating him like your child. You abandoned him. Another person said, yeah, but don't you think putting him in an institution and seeing him three times in two years was cold? He may have had struggles, but he still deserves your love. You are still his mom. Talk to him. Go to therapy with him. Be an advocate for his success, not his demise. And the, another person said, but the problem isn't with his mental health issues diagnosis, which John says doesn't exist. It's the fact that you just abandoned your child. You haven't seen him since he was, what, 12 or spoken to him? His siblings haven't either, other than Hannah. I'm absolutely sure he has issues, and I'm sure deep down you do love him. But have you thought about the damage this has all done to him with no support from the one person who's supposed to have his back no matter what? It's just sad, and my heart breaks for Colin. Someone else said, many, many parents deal with this type of situation. It's not 1950 anymore, and you don't put your child in a facility and not go back to visit. Also, half these places can't even diagnose a kid properly. You think cutting off contact is better for his mental health? Be a parent, Kate. Another person said, only a narcissist would cover up a child's literal trauma. Saying a now adult's perception is wrong says so much about you and your parenting style. Take accountability for your actions so, you, so your children can heal. Someone else pointed out this. From, a ver from very early on, it was clear that you treated Colin very differently than you treated his siblings, and there wasn't even anything wrong with him then. 
Mental illness is often caused by childhood trauma, which he definitely endured. You say all you say all you want, but your entire life has been broadcasted for years. We all know the truth, whether you're willing to tell it or not. Someone else said, why are you speaking for John and Hannah? Also, why trust Maddie? Now looking back the show, she showed really aggressive, mean, horrible behavior towards her si siblings. She was such a bully. This person said, wow, I don't know one single therapist who would ever agree with a parent abandoning their child at a treatment center when rehabilitation is supposed to involve the entire family. He was a child. She decided it's okay to throw dirt on his name, knowing that he's an adult so that she can save herself. It's disgusting. Did she even run this by her PR team before posting this? Not a good move. Then someone who's a therapist wrote this, gaslighting at its finest. I'm a therapist and I worked with kids for years and it's disturbing how many parents don't see their own child's behaviors are in any way a reflection on their parenting and unhealed trauma and poor behaviors, abusive behaviors the parents themselves display. The kids that are struggling the most with mental health, majority of the time it stemmed from parents that were ill-equipped to be parents and there were always exceptions, so I'm not talking about exceptions. This statement is really awful and there are also many cases where one child is deemed the problem and scapegoated and abused more severely than the other kids. There is a saying, siblings may have the same parents, but they are raised by different parents. Everyone experiences their parents differently and parents do often treat kids differently and for some, it's a very negative, abusive experience. The best thing these kids can do is live happy, healthy lives. Kate can go fly a kite. So Kate's getting torn up and I agree with actually that therapist that left that comment. She's gaslighting, she's projecting, and she's not taking accountability. She will never take any responsibility or ever say that she's at blame here. And even if everything that she says is true about Colin, which I don't think is even remotely true, because I want to remind you guys that Colin is currently at boot camp in, in Paris Island, and he has been accepted into the Marine Corps. The United States Marine Corps does not take people like Colin if they're as troubled and as mentally ill as she claims. There is no way he would be at boot camp, no way he would be a Marine. And in her She's gaslighting, she's deflecting, she's putting out information to save herself. She doesn't care about Colin. None of what she said literally explains in a rational person's mind why a mother would abandon their child, why a mother would see a child twice or three times in three years and not talk to them for a year and a half. None of that explains that. Any rational human knows that mothers, parents are responsible for their kids and sticking them in a facility isn't an excuse to cut a, convert, cut a relationship off. Kate is just proving that she doesn't have an answer for what she's done. Instead, she's trying to defame, degrade, mirror Colin, and it's clear that she's made her children believe that he is still dangerous, even though she's the one that created all of this, her behavior with her everything that she's done to these kids. Instead, she's playing the sympathy card, acting like she had no other choice, and she is making him the problem. This is absolutely and completely disgusting. And I'm glad that people are letting her know in the comments. It's just another example of how she's continuing to target and hurt Colin. She's not on reality television anymore. She didn't have to make a comment. She could have participated with the series. Instead, she's going to social media where she can control it. She can control the narrative. She won't get any pushback on it. And it's disgusting. Tell me what your thoughts are in the comments below. Bye, guys.